Good evening po, kapatid na Erning. Oy, good evening naman, kapatid na Jeriel. Kumusta? Saan ba tayo ngayon? Uh, narito po tayo ngayon sa Midwest, sa Texas po tayo ngayon. Ah, Noong nakaraan, nandun po tayo sa mountain, sa Colorado. Colorado. Okay. Uh, Noong unang linggo natin, nandun po naman tayo sa Golden State, sa California. At uh, nangangamusta po yung ating mga kapatid na na dalaw at uh, na nakapagsandgawa na rin tayo ng atin pong uh, Lord Supper. Kamusta din daw po kayo? Sabi ng mga taga Colorado. Eh, kumusta naman sa kanila at mabuti pa rin tayo sa awa ng Panginoong Yahuwa. Opo, at nanonood po sila. Nanonood po sila sa atin. Eh, mabuti naman. Uh, kaya uh, tama lang itong ating uh, ginagawang ito na habang ang mga tao ay busy sa iba't ibang gawain gaya na iba nating mga kapatid, mayroon tayong panahon para sa Panginoon na yes. ating sinasagawa. Yes. Mahagi na ito ng buhay natin. Eh. Opo. Diba, Opo. The, you know, studies of the words of God must be continuous. Hindi natin pwedeng itigil. Eh. Kaya nga, minsan ang pagkaunawa natin ay hindi tama, itatama ng Panginoong Yahuwa. Kaya continuous ang research natin at kung ano po yung um, mas may sense, yun ang ating i-adapt. Kaya nga po sabi ng Biblia, mayroong tinatawag na pangkasalukuyang katotohanan or present truth na we have to make sure that we dig deeper in the Holy Scriptures to find out the present truth so that we could believe you know, to the truth that is actually for the present time, yung time natin ngayon, Kaerning. Tama, that's true. At yan ay uh, ating mababasa sa ikalawang Pedro 1.12 ang tungkol sa salitang present truth, yung kasalukuyang katotohanan. Yo. Kaya kung tayo ay nasa proseso ngayon, Kajeriel, na kung tawagin natin ay restorasyon. Uh, restorasyon sapagkat ang iba nating mga pagkakamali, yung ating mga paniniwalang uh, hindi angkop sa katotohanan ay binabago ng espiritu ng katotohanan na yun ang gumigiya sa atin para ating maitumpak, maiayon sa kalooban ng Diyos ang ating pananampalataya. Opo, it's not going to be uh, our own interpretation but the scriptures can be read so straight that you can actually understand what is being said. Ngayon, para matanggap natin yung katotohanan at maunawa natin, sabi nga, uh, kailangan natin ng ispirito ng katotohanan plus common sense like what we have studied before. So ang topic po natin ngayon, on the road to Emmaus, yan po ang topic natin, it's a story. So we are just going to continue po actually what we have already discussed last week. So before that, uh, we shall yeah. pray first. Okay. Panginoon namin Diyos, minsan pa, nag-aalay po kami ng maraming pagpapasalamat sa pananatili po ng pagmamahal mo sa amin. Patuloy kaming nabubuhay sa tulong at awa mo at ngayon patuloy din mag-aaral ng iyong mga salita. Samahan mo po kami, Panginoon, maawa ka po sa amin sapagkat ang karunungan namin kamangmangan para sa iyo. Kaya ipakisubo mo po ang espiritu ng katotohanan na siyang gagabay sa amin, malaman namin ang iyong kalooban. Umaasa kami, pati ang aming mga pagkakasalay, ipinatawad mo na po sa iyong mga anak. Inihiling po ito namin sa ngala ng iyong anak, ang Panginoong Yahushia na aming tagapagligtas. Amen. Amen. Okay po, Kairning, ang ating pong topic ngayon, ang discussion natin on the road to Emmaus. It's a story. Isang magandang istorya po ito. Because, you know, we own, we believe that Yahushua came back to life after three days doon sa tomb. Is that right po, Kairning? Di po ba tama, tama. yun? Ano? Tama so, yun. Para umangon siya. So, 
Uh, it was fulfilled, you know, that uh, Yahusha will be coming back to life, but before he will be glorified or before he becomes glorious, he must undergo, you know, that uh, sacrifices, you know, painful sacrifices that uh, he must endure for the sake of those who will believe in and attain salvation. Now, let me read Paul Kaerning, if you may. Okay. Uh, Luke 24, 13 to 24. This is the story uh, on uh, about on the road to Emmaus. Uh, I think you can <coughs> post that on your screen so our listener can see that. And this is what is written. That same day, two of Yahusha's followers were going to a town named Emmaus. It is about seven miles from Jerusalem. Ang ganda po, kaya ning tanyo. So, Isipin natin mo ito, saan yung Emmaus na yan? Seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking about everything that had happened. While they were talking, discussing these things, Yahushua himself came near and walked with them. But the two men were not allowed to recognize Yahushua. He asked them, what's this? I hear you discussing with each other as you walk. The two men stop, their faces looking very sad. The one named Cleopas said, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who doesn't know what has just happened there. Yahusha said, what are you talking about? They said, it's about Yahusha the one from Nazareth, to God and to all the people, he was a great prophet. He said, and did many powerful things. But our leaders and the leading priests handed him over to be judged and killed. They nailed him to a cross. We were hoping that he would be the one to free Israel. But then all this happened. So, ang pinag-uusapan pala dito ng dalawa, eh yung kamatayan ng Panginoong Yahushua, ano po? Yeah, and while they were talking, Yahushua came up to them and, and asked them, what are you talking about? I can hear that you're talking about something else. And, you know, the, the two people, the two men who were walking, and now at this point, Yahusha was walking with them. One named Cleopas said, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who doesn't know what has had happened there. So uh, that was Yahusha actually uh, talking, they, they are talking too. Now, let us continue the reading, Paul. And now something else. It has been three days since he was killed. So this moment is the day after Yahushua actually resurrected from the, from the dead, right? So it was three days since he was killed. But today, the Cleophas and the other man, some of our women told us an amazing thing. Early this morning, they went to the tomb where the body of Yahushua was laid. But they did not find his body there. They came and told us, they had seen some angels in a vision. The angels told them Yahushua was alive. So some of our group went to the tomb too. It was just as the women said. They saw the tomb, but they did not see Yahushua. Then Yahushua said to the two men, You are foolish and slow to realize what is true. You should believe everything the prophets said. I would like to emphasize on that part of this story, Paul Carney. Yeah. What Yahushua said. You should believe everything the prophets said. The prophets said the Messiah must suffer these things before he begins his time of glory. Then he began to explain everything that had been written about himself in the scriptures. He started with the books of Moses, and then he talked about what the prophets had said about him. 
they came near the town of Emmaus and Yahushua acted as if he did not plan to stop there, but they wanted him to stay. They begged him, stay with us. It's almost night. There's hardly any daylight left. So he went in to stay with them. Joining them at the supper table, Yahushua took some bread and gave thanks. Then he broke some of some of and gave it to them. Just then the men were allowed to recognize him, but when they saw who he was, he disappeared. Yan po ang istorya. That is the story on the road to Emmaus. It was about the resurrection of the Christ. Now, we would like to take note of what Yahushua said to the two men. Yahushua told them, you are foolish and slow to realize what is true. Kayo anyay mangmang at napakabagal niyong maalaman kung ano ang katotohanan, sabi niya. You should believe everything the prophet said. Dapat paniwalaan niyo ang mga sinabi ng mga propeta. The prophet said the Messiah must suffer these things before he begins his time of glory. Then he began to explain everything that had been written about himself. Yung po ang dapat natin mapuna na yung mga propeta. Nagsimula nga doon sa aklat na isinulat ni Moises. Pi, ang, isina, ang sinasalita doon o pinag-uusapan doon sa aklat na yon ah, ay ang tungkol sa kanya, tungkol kay Yahusha. Ano po ang makikita natin dito kaya ning? What can we say about the verse that or verses that we have just read about the story on the road to Emmaus? What is it that we can actually uh, sense of, sense about or what is the sensible thing that we must see in this uh, story? Kaya ning. Uh, just sa ating binasa ay ating uh, matututunan na hinbagaman wala pang Kristo sa kalagay ng panahong una panahon nila Moses panahon ng mga propeta pero sila ay sumasampalataya na sa ating Panginoong Yahusha o sa Misayas ganun yun eh yun ang mensahe diyan opo kaya kailangan na ito ay maintindihan ng natin sapagkat may ibang mga naniniwala na paano ang wika sila mananampalataya wala pang Kristo noon. Kaya diyan sa talatang yan ay sinasagot tayo maging yung ating mga tanong. Kailan ba bubuhayin itong mga kabilang sa lumang tipan na mga maliligtas? Di ba? At sila ba, sila ba ay makakasama natin sa pagsalubong sa Panginoong Yahusha? E eh dito ay ating dapat na maintindihan na inuulit nga natin, wala pa mang kalagayan ang Kristo, pero ang mga si Moises, maging sa mga sa Atora, sa unang limang aklat na sinulat niya, pati down sa mga kay Abraham, kay David, kay Saul, maging sa panahon ng mga maliliit na propeta kung tawagin, ay sila ay nakatingin sa pagdating ng Mesayas. Sa pagkakayon nga, Kajariel, sa Kulosas 1.17, ang lahat ng mga bagay ay, uh, ay nila lang sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Yahushua at ang lahat ng mga bagay ayon sa Ipeso ay iniukol kay Kristo. Kaya, kaya, kaya hindi lang yung, yung pangkasalukuyan, hindi Ama. lang yung malapit na nakaraan, kundi yung malayong nakaraan, yung panahumpa ng unang-una nung mm-hmm. nagsimula pa lamang ang Israel o higit sa lahat si Abraham yung panahon pa ni Abraham ay meron na katunayan po ka earning sa panahon ni Abraham meron tayong babasa ay mamaya pero ito po ang isa sa mga sinulat ni Moises na uh, sa English na po natin babasa in Genesis 49 8 to 10 isa okay. sa mga uh, limang aklat, yun ang unang aklat eh. Ito yeah. po ang nakasulat. May binabanggit dito. Sa 8 hanggang G's. Yes. Ayun po, pwede po. Judah, 
Ako na ano, Judah, your brothers will praise you. You will defeat your enemies. Your brothers will bow down to you. Judah is like a young lion. My son, you are like a lion standing over the animal it killed. Like a lion, Judah lies down to rest. And no one is brave enough to disturb him. Men from Judah's family will be kings. The sign that his family rules will not leave his family before the real king comes. Then many people will obey and serve him. Yan ang katunayan po na ka-earning na noong pa, ano po, tama ang sabi ng Panginoong Yahusha, talagang isinait ng Panginoong Yahusha, ang sabi niya doon sa ating binasa kanina, you know, he said to uh, the two men while they were walking on the road to Emmaus, he said that uh, they should believe the prophets. Then uh, he started to uh, explain everything that had been written about himself. Lalo na nga doon, nag-start siya, sabi doon, he started with the books of Moses. And Genesis is one of the books of Moses. And it is actually recorded there po, in Genesis, like what you have read po. Ano po yung yeah. nakasulat doon? Lion. Lion. May binabanggit dito na lion eh. Mm-hmm. Ang sabi, Judah is like a young a lion. Mm-hmm. Ito naman ay hindi ito leon na literal kapatid na Jeriel eh. Opo, hindi, hindi. May sagot diyan ang Biblia, ano? Doon din po sa sa, sa sa ano sa sa parehong aklat sa, sa isang salin. Ano? O sa ibang salin lang, uh, babasahin ko po, ito po nakasulat. Okay. Sa uh, Amplified uh, Bible yung yung ano yan, yun yung uh, Amplified Classic, yeah. Classic. Oo. Uh-huh. Judah, you are the one whom your brother shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's son shall bow down to you. Judah, a lion's cub, with a prey, my son, you have gone high up the mountain. He stooped down. He, co- he crouched like a lion and like a lioness who dares provoke and rouse him. The scepter or leadership shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until Shiloh, ayan na po, yeah. the Messiah, ayan, and the peaceful one comes to whom it belongs, and to him shall be the obedience of the people. Kaya yung layun of Judah dyan, yan ang Messiah. Tama. Ano po? Kaya tama. sa unang aklat pa lang, Kajeriel, ni Opo. Moises, tama yung sinabi talaga ng Panginoong Yahusha nung sila'y nasa daan patungo sa Imaos. Opo. Kasama yung dalawang lalaki, ang isa'y pinangalaan ng Cleopas, pero yung isa'y ano, ano. Talagang Opo. sinabi niya, maging sa aklat ang wika ni Moises at ng mga propeta, ay meron nang uh, ipinahihiwating, sabi nga, may whisper na tungkol sa ating misaya. Alala o maga, yan nga ang Kristo. Diba, yes. Ayan, no? yes. And actually, it was also written in Revelations by the Apostle John. The okay. Apostle John made mention of what actually Moses wrote here in Revelations 5.2 and 5.4. Ayan okay. po. Ano po ba yung nakasulat doon? Ito, babasahin natin. And I saw a powerful angel who called in a loud voice Who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But one of the elders said to me, Don't cry. The lion from the tribe of Judah, binanggit uli, has uh-huh. won the victory. He is David's descendant. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Yep. The lamb came and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. After the Lamb took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders bowed down before the Lamb. Each one of them had a harp. Also, they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's holy people. And they all sang a new song to the Lamb, 
you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were killed and with your blood sacrifice you bought people for God from every tribe, language, race of people and nation. You made them to be a kingdom and to be priests for our God. And they will rule on the earth. May binabanggit dito the lion from the tribe of Judah, the lamb. Hindi ko po po yan ang Panginoong Yahusha talaga eh. Si Pang, ang Panginoong Yahusha po talaga yan. At saka kung ang itin pong pupunayin, Yes, siya yung nagsakripisyo ng dugo eh. Sabi doon, no? Exactly. Because you were killed and with your blood sacrificed, you, you bought people, people for God from every tribe. Yun ang labing dalawang tribo ng Israel. Lama. Language, race of people, and nation. Kaya marami nang sumasampalatayan ngayon. Kaya siya, you made them to be a kingdom and to be priests for our God. And they will rule on the earth. Yan po yung ating pinag-aralan noong nakaraan, kapatid yeah. na Erning. Yung Tama. mga saints na kasama ni Yahus yung babalik sa ikalawang pagparito niya na mag rule sa mundo kasama niya na doon sa Millennial Kingdom. Napakaganda po ng talagang matutunan natin kung ano ba talaga ang nakasulat. Kesa kasi meron po kasing uh, mga tao na Ayning, wag naman bato-bato nga sa langit, wag tamaan ka, wag ka namang magagalit. Ano sabi nga eh? Eh, ang, yung iba, kukuha lang ng isang talata at kung ano-ano na sasabihin doon. Ah, ang kininan nila lahat yun. Ito, kabuuan, mensahe, katulad po ng ating pinag-aralan noong nakaraan. Buong mensahe ang ating pong pinag-aaralan. Yeah, ano tama ba? yun. Kaya hindi yung isang talata lang tapos magkukonklusyon, magna, magna-narrative na yun. Mag, gagawa na sila ng naratibo nila. Uh, yun ay isang bagay na dapat mapansin ng ating mga tagapakinig at taga, taga-subaybay. Na atin po talagang dapat basahin ang buong konteksto. Kaya tayo nagtitsagang magbasa, di ba, Kajeriel, kahit mahaba-haba. Sa pagka, para malaman natin, ang tinutukoy doon sa versikulo, Jis, abay, ibasahin muna natin yung kapitulo yung mga preceding verses, di ba, kapatid Opo. Kajerian? Aha. Ma- ma- ating ma- ma-picture, ating mailarawan sa isipan natin, ah, ito pala ang kabuuan nito. Ito pala ang buong konteksto nito. Di yes. ba? Yung pala buong mensahe. <laughs> tama, tama. Yung kompletong mensahe. Eh, sabi nga, yung bato-bato sa langit, ang tamaan ay huwag sanang magagalit. Ano ho? Sabi ng iba nga, gaya ng ating nabanggit sa nanakaraan na, na yun daw pagdating ng Kristo, yun na rin ang araw ng paghuhukom. Mapupugnaw na kaagad ang langit at lupa ay mukha yatang, sabi ko nga, nag-iisip ako, teka muna, mukha yatang naubos na, minsan ang wala ng pag-asa yung mga tao, ganun na lang ba yung kadali? Opo. Di ba? Eh, something na dapat nating parang werdo, parang sa ganang akin, mukhang hindi yata ito. Ayon sa tamang sintido. No? Yes. Opo. Ayon sa minsahe ng Diyos eh. Sipi kaya yun. ano eh, kaya mahalaga na maunawaan nating lahat ang kabuuan. Ang mahalaga po kasi doon sa pagbabasa ng Biblia, ano ba ang mensaheng naroon? Hindi Aha. lang ho yan paatas eh. Ano ba? Halimbawa, ang Panginoong Yahusha, katulad ng pinag-aralan natin noong karaan, mm-hmm. ano po, nagtuturo siya o nagsasabi siya tungkol sa pagbabayad ng buwis. Eh bakit ang mensahe ng iba eh tungkol naman sa eleksyon? Di ba? Kaya yung mensahe ng Panginoong Yahusha na dapat sana makarating sa lahat ng tao, eh ang nakakarating ay mensahe ng pinuno o kung sino man ang namumuno doon sa relihiyon na yon, kung ano gusto niya. Kaya masama po yung isang talata pagkukunin, pagkatapos pagdudugtong-dugtongin, nako, eh madali hong maipandaya yan eh. So, Kaya tawag, yung mga nakikinig, katulad ng nakaraan natin pag-aaral, ano po kaya nang? Dama. Ay yeah. sabi, oh, itest ninyo at subukin ninyo ang lahat bago nyo panimbalaan yan. Oh. Test and prove. Yeah. Opo. Teka, bago po natin ituloy, ano po ba yung ibig sabihin nung, ano, nung Mesaya? Kaya yung mga, mga unang tao sa panahon ng mga propeta, panahon ni Moises, panahon ni Abraham, ano po, 
Yeah. Ano ano ba yung ano ba yung ibig sabihin nung meron silang inaasahang Mesaya? Naniniwala sila sa Mesaya. O ano ba ibig sabihin nung Mesaya? Kasi yung Mesaya, yun yung sa lumang tipan, naroon yun. Sa bagong tipan, naroon din ang Mesaya. Mm-hmm. Pero sa bagong tipan, dumating ang Mesaya. Hindi po ba Aba. doon na doon na siya dumating? Doon na. Ngayon, ano po bang linggo ay kaya ninyo ang ginamit sa pagsusulat ng uh, bagong tipan? tipan. The, the bagong, bagong. What, what kind of what was the language used to to write the the New the Testament? Testament. Uh, it was written in in uh, Greek language. Oh, sa, sa Greek? Griego, sa Griego. Eh, ano po ba yung mesaya sa Griego? Ayun po. Ayun, uh, tingnan natin, basahin natin sa wag tayo magbigay ng ating puro ano. Uh-huh. Siguro basahin natin sa Wikipedia. Ito. Ayan. Ayan. Pakibasa ka dyan. <laughs> The Greek translation, ayan ang sinasabi, of yeah. Messiah is Christos. Ayan. Anglicized as Christ. Ayan. Christians commonly refer to Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus papangalan dyan eh, kasi Wikipedia yan eh. Yeah. Eh, tayo, si yan Jesus ay si Yahusha. Yahusha. Yan ang talagang pangalan niya, Yahusha. As either the Christ or the Messiah. Tingnan niyo po ang pagkagamit dito, ano po? Or. As either, or sabi, as either the Christ, meron salitang TH, meron T-H-E, the Christ or the Messiah. Kaya pagka, pagka binanggit niya sa Tagalog, dapat laging may kaduktong yan. Ang Kristo. Uh, yung may definite article. Uh, eh bakit sinasabi nung iba kay Kristo? Eh kasi nga akala nila pangalan yung Kristo. Oh, tama. Eh, ituloy yan, ibig sabihin niyan Messiah, Christos, Messiah. Christ, or the Christ or the Messiah. Believing that the messianic prophecies were fulfilled in the mission, death and resurrection of Jesus and that he will return to fulfill the rest of messianic prophecies. Moreover, Unlike the Judaic concept of the Messiah, Jesus Christ is additionally considered by Christians to be the Son of God. Ayan. So, ang ibig sabihin po, ka-earning ng Messiah pala, ay Christos. Christos. So, hindi tayo nagkakamali na sa pagre-research natin na yung Kristo or Christ The Christ, that's why they, it is written there, the Christ is a title. Tama. Ang uh, Kristo. Uh, hindi, anointed. Yeah. Hindi si Kristo. Hindi. Kasi sa atin naman doon, sa ating pinanggalingan, ano ho, eh ganun kasi tayo si nanay, no? pero ganun pa man, sabi nga, nasanay man tayo sa hindi tama, eh may pagkakataon pa naman para baguhin. Opo. Ang, ang, ang hindi maganda doon ka, Jeriel, kung alam na natin ang tama ano ho, at ayaw pa natin tanggapin. Ah, dito na kami, ito na kasi, ganito na kasi, ito na kami kinamulatan. Eh. Yung ba ay tamang pangangatwiran yun, ka, Jeriel? Na dito eh, na kami? Sa salita pa lang po, ka, Erling. Eh. Pangangatwiran. Oh, eh, masama tama. yung pangangatwiran. Sabi nga, eh, wala tayong katwiran pagkang pag-uusapan, katwiran ng Diyos. Tama. Suko tayo doon. So, ang tunay na tagasunod ni Yahusha, ang mga Yahusians katulad po natin, madaling baguhin. Opo. Bakit po? Kasi we have already, sabi nga Karning, no, we have already acquired astute common sense. Mayroon acquire na natin yun eh. Meron na tayong common sense. Madali tayong turuan. Yung iba, mahirap turuan. Bakit mahirap turuan? Ayaw gamitin ng sentido kumon. Ah, ayaw gamitin yung sarili nilang isip. Ang ginagamit nila yung isip ng isang tao lang. Kaya ang tawag doon na nila eh parang group thinking, no? Ano? Group thinking. Isa kung ano thinking ng aming chief, ng aming executive, yun ang thinking namin lahat. Ah, ang sabi niya kung ano thinking ni Yahusha. Oo, tama. Kaya dahil doon sa paniniwala lang yan, Kajeriel na kung ano yung thinking ng aming leader yun na kami lahat. Parang katulad ngayon sa pagboto. Sabi ng isang tao, nabasa ko yun sa Facebook eh. Sabi niya, uh, ako ang wika ay walang pinapanigan. Wala, hindi ako kulay ganito, hindi ako sa kulay na ganito. Pero ako ay ganitong relihiyon ko. 
eh wala akong pakialam diyan Ang importante sa akin kung ano yung sasabihin ng leader namin, ayun ah, ang aking paniniwalaan. Ayun ay, ay mukha yatang hindi ginagamit ang isipang ibinigay sa kanya ng Diyos. Opo. Ba, ang tanong ko, ba't pa binigyan ng isipan kung hindi niya gagamitin yung isip niya at nakaasalalay lang, nakadepende lang siya sa pag-iisip nung iba. Ay, saka, isa pa nga, hindi kini-question yung, ano eh, yung message. Eh. Ang hindi. message, katulad yan, ano bang gagamitin talata kapag ka pag-uusapan ng eleksyon? O edi eh, yun na namang ano, ibigay kay si Sarang, kay si Sar, ibigay yan sa Diyos at sa Diyos. O, oh, eh, ibigay mo kay si Sar. Ano ba yung kay si Sar? Yun na niya yung boto namin. Aba, teka muna, hindi, hindi naman yun ang pinag-uusapan doon eh. Ang pinag-uusapan doon yun ang tax mo. Eh, boto ko ng boto, hindi ka naman nagbabayad ng buwis. <laughs> 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 yun. Nakakatawa, pero sabi nga, yun ang totoo eh. Hindi naman natin uh, sila nilalait, ano? pero yun ang totoo eh. Yun ang katotohanan na, na ikaw ay boto ka ng boto, hindi ka naman nagbabayad. Ayun ng... nga po, ka-earning. Ang, 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 ang salita ng Diyos ay natutwist. Di ba ba? Na, napasusunod sa naratibo nila, yung gusto nilang narrative. Oh. Kaya tayo, sumasampalatayan tayo doon sa katotohanan. Ang katotohanan pinag-aaralan po natin ngayon, ang mga naunang tao, sumasampalatayan na sa Kristo. Ayan. Hindi po Ama. kay Kristo. Sa Kristo o sa, sa Mesaya. Uh, they are already believing in the Christ. They are already believing in the Messiah. In Hebrew, you know po, because they were majority of them. Hebrew, you, the Israelites, they call yeah. him Hamashiach. Yeah. Hamashiach. Hamashiach. Uh, that's that's uh, the title of the the. Uh, The, the title of Yahusha. Be, because it, it, actually po, Moses also know the name because he was the one who wrote in Exodus then Moses said uh, he wrote in Exodus that God said my name is in him. O di po ba? Nasa mm-hmm. kanya niya yung pangalan ko. So, alam nila niya yung pangalan. Alam din ng mga Israelita yung pangalan ng kanilang mesaya because God already said my name is in him ayun ngayon alam niyo po pwede pa tayong sumut back eh. hindi lang tayo yeah. do sa kay propeta Moises eh yung nanggit yeah. niyo kanila kay Abraham kay Abraham eh opo yung kay Abraham ayan po nakasulat dito sa Genesis 27 a ah, 22 ayan po mababasa po oh. niyo kay Erling opo I succeed I see the wood and the fire But where is the lamb we will burn as a sacrifice? Bago natin ituloy, ito'y tagpo po ng at, na itong si Abraham ay inutusan ng Diyos, ihandog yung anak niya, Kajeriel, ano? Uh-huh. Anak sa pangako, ang tagal-tagal niyang hinintay. Na halos uh, ilang taon yun, 75 years. Uh, 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 Mag-isandaan <laughs> taon na siya. Oo, 100 years na. Ito na ngayon, pinahahandog niya sa kanya. Ngayon, ang sabi nitong si Isaac ngayon, But where is the lamb we will burn as a sacrifice? Abraham answered, God himself is providing the lamb for the sacrifice, my son. When they came to the place where God told them to go, Abraham built an altar. He carefully laid the wood on the altar. Then he tied up his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on the top of the wood. Then Abraham reached for his knife to kill his son. But the angel of Yahuwah stopped him. Then Abraham noticed a ram whose horns were caught in a bush. So Abraham went and took the ram and he offered it instead of his son as a sacrifice to God. Mm-hmm. Kaya dito, kapatid ni Juliel, ay... Uh, Mapapansin po natin na may binabanggit na lamb na binanggit na rin kanina sa binasa natin sa Apokalipsis na ito'y tumutukoy sa ating Panginoong Yahushua. Kaya sa panahong ito, yan, Kairning, ba, ma, ano ko po, matanong ko po kayo. Sa yeah. panahong yan, nabanggit na ba sa Israel? Wala pang Israel dito, ano po? Wala pa, wala pa. Wala pa. Sa Abrahamic pa ito, Abrahamic, Abrahamic, Abrahamic. Abrahamic 
Uh, ano yan eh, time na po. So, wala pa ang Israel niya. Wala pa si Jacob eh. Wala pa. Uh, wala pa si Jacob, anak ni Isaac eh. Tama. Lolo niya si Abraham eh. Di ba lolo ni Jacob si, si Abraham? Tama. Tama. Ayan. So, pero sa talata pong binasa niyo ka, Erning, mukhang may pinahihihiwatig na si Abraham eh. Na tungkol yeah. doon sa kordero. Yung yeah. kordero. Sabi nga, dito sa account na ito, uh, we find in the account of Abraham and Isaac at Mount Moriah that Abraham told Isaac that God himself would provide, ano po yung ipoprovide? Lamb. 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 Whoa. When Isaac asked about the burnt offering, yun yung tinanong eh, no, ni, ni Isaac. Eh. Yeah. Uh, nasaan yung, yung ating yung yung kordero na ating susunugin para yan dog. Kordero tawag din ni Isaac saka. Yeah. Pero sa binasa niyo po ka earning. Parang prophetically parang ano speaking prophetically si Abraham din eh. He, he yeah. it sounds like Abraham was pro- speaking prophetically of a future time when God would offer up his son, di po ba? Parang ganun Tama. eh. Kasi, Ito uh, Oh, kaya rin maaga ko salita nyo. Oh, sige po. Ito ay uh, ano eh, it, it foreshadows ang mm. pagdating ng lamb o ang ating ang Kristo, ano ho? Yeah. Ito ay isang tagpo na lumalarawan ang pag-aalay o sakripisyo ng gagawin ni Abraham sana sa anak niya. Mm. Talagang sana dahil sa pinigil nga lang eh, papatay na oh. talaga eh. 'Di ba? Ito po ay uh, ay umaanino itong lamb ay umaanino kay sa Mesias o kay uh-huh. Yahushua sa future yes. pagdating yeah. ng panahong Kristiyanismo. Yeah, ba? Diba? Ang Diyos nag-offer ng anak din niya. Sino uh-huh. kaya yung offer? Ang inoffer ni Yahuwa si Yahushua. In the same manner, itong si Abraham nag-offer, uh, he offered his own son Isaac as a sacrifice. This yeah. foreshadows the coming of our Lord Yahushua the Christ. Ayan. At hindi lang yun. Sabi ng Abraham, God will provide the lamb. Pero ang pinrovide ng Diyos, hindi naman lamb. Ram. <laughs> ram. <laughs> oh, yung ram. Ram ang pinrovide ng Diyos, hindi lamb. So hindi Tama. kordero. Ewan ko kung ano sa Tagalog yung ram. <laughs> uh, yun ay uh, lalaking uh, ano yata, tupa. <laughs> <laughs> Kumbaga sa ano, ram is different from the lamb. Exactly. Diba? Yung lamb is batang tupa. Yun, yun ang address ng Diyos o ni Yahuwa kay Yahushe. Lamb. Exactly. Hindi niya ina-address na ram. <laughs> ram si Yahushe. Hindi niya rin Tama. ina-address na sheep si Yahushe. Tama. Ang address Tama. ng Diyos kay Yahushe, lamb. Okay? Si Abraham, Parang nagsasalita ng prophetic, uh, pro, sabi nga prophetically, yung kanyang yeah. sinasabi. That God will provide the lamb. Oh, yun ang alam ni Abraham na ipoprovide. Pero actually, yeah. ram. Ito naman yung napag-uusapan po, Ka Erning. Ano po? Ibig na sabihin, maging sa panahon ng Abrahamic uh, time, sa panahon pa ni Abraham, ina, meron na silang na, nakikitang pagdating ng Mesias. Meron na silang sinasampalatayanan. May darating. Pero sa panahon po ni Moises, doon po ba ini-announce ni Moises ka earning? Yeah, may binanggit talaga siya ron. Letra por letra eh. Nakasulat. Sin- sinulat ni Moises po. na darating ang ano po? Ang Kristo. Ang Kristo. Yeah. Yes. Ang Mesaya. Mm-hmm. Tama. Ngayon, si Abraham po ba sumasampalataya talaga doon sa darating na yon ayon uh, sa pagtuturo ng mga apostol? Aba, opo, opo. Mababasa natin sa Ebreo yan. Ano po ba nakasulat sa Ebreo, Ka Erning? Sa On Si Jesus ay nakasulat dyan, Abraham was waiting for the city that has a real foundations. He was waiting for the city that is planned and built by God. Si Abraham pala, Ka Jeriel eh. Isipin nyo, no? unang panahon, isipin nyo. Uh, katatapos na ng panahon ni Nue. Uh-huh. Diba? Isipin ninyo na siya ay sumasampala tayo talaga sa real foundations. Dahil sa alam niya itong mga pundasyon dito sa lupa, hindi naman niya nang talagang uh, real yeah. o totoo sapagkat tutupukin din naman. Alam ni Abraham yun eh. Diba? 
Ang yeah. hinihintay niya, he was waiting for the city that is planned. Ang pinaka-architecto ar ay ang Diyos. Opo. At ang gumawa ay ang Panginoon Diyos. Ang tinutukoy po niyan, hindi sa tayo po ay nagdaragdag. At ano ho, pagka ating binasang ibang talata ng Biblia, tumutukoy po yan sa bayang banal, kapatid na Jeriel. Aha. Diba? Yes. Si, Tagal-tagal tag 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 na eh. Kaya siya, yeah. kung sumasampalatayan no, sa bayang banal, na likha ng Panginoon Diyos, sumasampalatayan din siya sa ating Panginoong Yahusya, ang Kristo. Di ba? Uh -huh. Maging si Moises kaya. Punta si Moises, ganun, si ganun Moises. din po eh. Si Moises, yan din ang palalampalataya eh. Meron din siyang iniintay. Si, si Abraham, iniintay niya yung uh, yung, uh, found, uh, yung, ano, yung real foundation ng city. May, yeah. Meron talagang totoy na pundasyon eh. Eh sino ba yun? Di ba? Talagang pundasyon ng uh, pananampalataya, no? Uh, sabi nga ay ang Kristo. Alam um, natin yun. Ito naman yung kay Moises. Pag tinuloy natin yung sinasabi dyan sa Ebreo, yeah. uh, sa 11.24-28, ito naman. In English na po, para makarelate din yung mga hmm. hindi naman marunong magtagalog. When Moses grew up, faith led him to refuse to be known as a son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to suffer with God's people rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a little while. He thought that being insulted for, eto, kulang dito eh. Nakasulat eh. Oh, the Christ, lagdagan natin yun, yun ang tama. For the Christ would be better than having the treasures of Egypt. He was looking ahead to his reward. Look at that. Faith led Moses to leave Egypt without being afraid of the king's anger. Moses didn't give up but continue as if he could actually see the invisible God. Faith led Moses to establish the Passover and spread the blood on the doorpost so that the destroying angel would not kill the firstborn sons. Women received their loved ones back from the dead. Other believers were brutally tortured but refused to be released so that they might gain eternal life. Some were made fun of and whipped and some were chained and put in prison. Some were stoned to death, sold in half and killed with swords. Some wore the skins of sheep and goats. Some were poor, abused and mistreated. The world didn't deserve these good people. Some wandered around in deserts and mountains and lived in caves and holes in the ground. All these people were known for their faith. Yon. But none of them received what God had promised. God planned to give us something very special so that we would gain eternal life with them. With them. Yun yung mga naunang tao po. Yan yung mga Israelita sa panahon ng mga propeta. Yung mga sinumpalataya, yung mga nagintay sa Mesias. Nagiintay. Hindi nila nakita yung pangako eh. Hindi yeah. ko ba? Exactly. What really caught my attention, Brother Jeriel, is uh, uh, when uh, Apostle Paul uh, wrote what Moses uh, said that uh, uh, he was insulted if we go back to our to uh, verses yes. 24 Opo. to 28. Ang sabi doon ay uh, he was insulted for, uh -huh. for the Christ. Ayan. Being insulted, sabi doon, he thought that being, yun kasi, no, yung pleasure sa Egypt, eh, yun ang pina, pinagpalit niya. He thought that being insulted for the Christ or for the Messiah yun eh. Yeah. Better than having the treasures of Egypt. So ito ang point natin dyan, kaya Jeriel, uh, si Moses ay sumasampalataya kay Kristo, di ba? Sa Kristo. Sa Kristo. Sa Kristo. Sa Kristo. Sa Kristo. He thought that being insulted for the Christ we're supposed to put the article the Christ, but that's the way how they uh, translated it, right? For okay. Christ would be better than having the treasures of Egypt. So the one being referred to here is Moses. He was enjoying the treasure of being the adopted son of uh, the daughter of Pharaoh, but he rather chose to be insulted for the Christ. So mm -hmm. the point here is that he has faith 
in the Messiah. Although yes. Christ is not physically, uh, pr uh, physically present. present in that account, right? Uh, but he believed on the Messiah, brother Jerry. Oh, oh. And not only that, in the preceding and the succeeding verses that we read, it says there that these people did not receive the promise of God. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me read uh, verses 39 down to 40. It says, all these people were known for their faith, but mm -hmm. none of them received that God had promised. They died not receiving the, what God had promised to them. Mm -hmm. But the question is this, why did Apostle Paul say, said, why did Apostle Paul say in the book of Thessalonians chapter 1 verses, I mean, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 down to 17, that those who were alive will be caught up with them. The mm -hmm. devil is, is referring to those who are who were included in the first resurrection, isn't it, Brother uh, Now, uh -huh. the question is this what about uh, Brother Juliel and Brother Ernesto or Erning? Uh, what about the Old Testament saints like Abraham, Noah, David, and the other who will be saved? How, when shall they be resurrected? Well, so for me, Brother Julia, to me, they will be included in the rapture. What about yes. you, Brother Julia? They, they will be included in the first resurrection because with them, those were the dead in the Christ. Oh, the dead in the Christ, that will be the time of the apostles. No, the dead in the Christ includes the prophets. Exactly. <laughs> because they are already believers of the Christ. That's what yes. we can read. So the dead in the Christ includes the Israelites who believe Correct. in the Messiah, yes. who were waiting for the Messiah. The dead in the Christ includes Abraham. Yeah, so that's why. So ang mga yeah. old saints, sabi nga, mm -hmm. nakasama nung mga nabu, mabubu, nabuhay. Yung mga buhay, kung halimbawa ngayon nangyari yan, uh, kasama yung mga namatay kay Christo, sa Kristo, sabi nga, uh -huh. uh, those who died, died, you know, in the Christ, sabi nga, uh, died from the time of the prophets, from the time of the first century church, from the time of uh, during, the, during. The, the, the prophesied church the, uh -huh. at the ends of the earth. Yes. You know? And then those who are included now to the one that is continuing, the very few remnant. Uh -huh. Small remnant, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, the thing, Paul, is this. The church that was prophesied in 1914 continued only until 9, uh, 2009. Yeah. After 2009, what was instructed or what was actually warned to us that, that uh, apostasy will knock on our doors actually happened. Yes. It was Brother Ranyo Manalo who said that, that apostasy will knock on our doors. But mm -hmm. I am no longer worried about that because you were already taught. Well, as a human being, that's why he taught that everybody knew where to go when yeah. apostasy knocks. But when it knocks, everybody went the wrong way. Mm -hmm. that's that's masamad correct. Nandun sa tunay na kay Yahushua Hamasiyak, na po, yung talagang tunay niya sa kanya, the first resurrection. That includes everybody before, during, and after the time of the Christ here yeah. on earth. Ayun, yun exactly. Po Let us always remember that the author of First Thessalonians is Apostle Paul in the same manner. Uh -huh. He, he authored also the book of Hebrews, right? And, mm -hmm. and he said, and in verse 40, it says, God planned to give us something very special. Not just special, brother. It uh -huh. is a very special thing so that we would gain eternal life with them. Yeah. To whom does the pronoun, the, the, the plural noun, the plural pronoun refer to? The them. That refers to to the aforementioned verses Abraham, Moses, mm -hmm. and the prophets. That yes. is why they will also be included in the first resurrection. Maybe, po tayo. maybe in the past uh, Bible study that we had, 
uh, we made mention uh, different way on how will they be included, uh, when shall they be resurrected. I mean, I'm referring to the Old Testament uh, saints, those who will be saved in the Old Testament, like Abraham and so and so and so forth. Uh, well, uh, sometimes we we uh, say words that uh, are not really uh, exact, uh, exactly the same as what we are reading, now, what what you're reading right now, brother. Uh, Jeriel. So we stand corrected sometimes. That's why it is a restorative process. We are restoring. We are just going back to what really God wants us to understand, right? Okay. That's so, why the Bible says those people in the past will be given a very special thing, and that will be that they will receive eternal life with them. We shall. Because Apostle Paul is speaking to the Hebrew people in the book of Hebrews, right? To the Christian in these last, mm -hmm. last days, right? And, and then in the future too. Mm -hmm. We will be. Kaya, kaya po ito yan eh. Ang mm -hmm. mahalaga sa atin ngayon. Ano ang natututunan natin ngayon? Ang oh. natututunan natin yung buong mensahe na. Di ba ba? Huh? Kasi mayroong iba't ibang mensahe. Pero hindi natin sinasabi, hindi po natin tinutuldukan kaya ning. We will never okay. say, oh, this is the truth. This is the right thing. This is the only thing that you should believe. No. We don't do that. This is what makes sense to me. This is what makes sense to, to you. This is what makes sense to our fellow Yahushan. And this is what we are sharing with the people of the world. But the people of the world, they do have the privilege. They do have the right to choose. Kasi yung pong pagpili, eh batasunan yun siya kahit nung pangula. Nilagay ko sa harapan mo before you life and death. You know, but he even he just suggested choose life so that you may live. So God's policy is that for people to make choices. So the members of the Church of Yahusha here, we are not forbidding you to read and read and read and listen to other preachers. You should, so that what you are actually learning from the Church of Yahusha today can be tested. If this is actually what God wants. So it will be you who will make that decision, Paul. Those who are listening to us. And like other religious group, you know, they will warn their members, oh, don't talk to those ministers. Don't talk to them. Don't uh, even uh, open your doors for these people. You know why, Paul, ironing? Okay. There is one, one reason for that. Because they are actually, and the Paul, uh scared <laughs> oh yeah that, probably that was the wrong word it was not scared you know they they uh they are actually treating their members as babies that can easily yeah. be can easily be uh you know convinced by wow. any preacher you see that Paul? Uh, actually that is one way of uh disrespecting or insulting one's uh, intelligence you know if if you if you will tell me carning uh oh Gajeriel, don't don't listen to that preacher don't don't listen to that teaching because you might uh, be uh you know you, you you might be like <laughs> persuaded to to join them mm -hmm. what do you think of me are, yeah. are you are, are you actually insulting my intelligence are you insulting my uh, my faith, my belief. Correct. Yeah. The more I listen to other people, the more I will learn, and the more I will learn, the more I will find the truth. Correct. Yeah, that Di is true. That Kaya is... dito po sa ni Yahusha, tayo, We deliver, but we do not say no. no I mean, boong katotohanan based on what we believe. Ano po? But let's rephrase that. Boong mensahe. Ang ibinibigay natin. Ito po mensahe ng Biblia. What do you think? That's what we do. But we don't put period. Ama. Eh, meron po kasi mga reliyon, nagpi-period eh. Ito lang ang totoo. Dito ka lang. Pag wala ka dito, mamamatay ka. Wala ka kaligtasan. Kaya kahit na gustong gusto na nilang ituro yung rapture, hindi nila maituro. Bakit? Bakit kaya? Eh, tinuldukan eh. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat kuwit lang. Dapat koma lang, koma. Oh, dapat koma lang. Para pag may nakita kang mas mabuti at may sense, o hindi ituro mo. Like what we are doing, there are lots of preachers today that are actually talking 
sensibly, di po ba? They're talking exactly. sensibly. They they make sense. So why not adapt that? Actually po, if we are going to go back 1914, uh-huh. that was that was actually the uh, the policy of the one the man that we believe as a messenger of God, right po? Uh-huh. Di ba? Marami siyang itinuro sa iglesia na galing din sa ibang mga pastor. Oh, Tama yun. Yeah. At katulad na lang nung 666. Oh. Galing kanino yun? Eh, galing po yun sa 70 at 20 eh, kay Ellen G. White. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, masama At bang i-adapt? No. Di masama ang i-adapt yung, pa, yung paniniwala ng iba kung tama, di ba? Kung hindi it po. makes sense. Yeah. Yung pagkakalaglag ng mga bituin, galing din doon. <laughs> hindi naman, tama, hindi tama. naman siya yung nakaris, nag, nag-research noon. Na-research yun ng iba, itinuro sa atin. Exactly. Uh, yan din po, that's what we are doing in our time. We are trying to research and then other people's research actually and then we give credit to them. We will never yes. plagiarize anything as hindi, Church of Yahweh sa ministers. Hindi natin aangkinin yung sinasabi no. ng iba. Kaya mayroon tayong kinu-quote. Gumagamit Opo. tayo ng quote. Galing Kaya sa nga, yeah. yung sinasabi nila na nakakarating na balita sa atin dahil, you know, we are sometimes hearing some news, although we don't want the news anymore from that institution, but uh, they are saying that uh, they their students are g- learning about the rapture o yung unang pagkabuhay na maguli, yung sequence noon. And that's a good thing. You know, if it will be coming from other preachers or coming from us, that's a good thing. We don't mind if they will preach that because, you know, uh, we already know our stand. Our stand, Kyrnyng, will not change, you know, exactly. like uh, like uh, we believe, you know, that this is now the continuation of the prophesied church in 1914. Yeah, this is the two of us, probably. They, exactly. they will say, just the two of you. Uh, you see, sometimes those arguments, you know, sabi, dalawa lang kayo? Kayo yung hinulaan? Yung mga gano'n? Uh, ganun eh, sila. Ito lang po yan eh. eh. Ilan lang ba? Ilan ba ang kalaban? Ilan ba ang mga propeta ni Baal noon? 400? O ilan yung 100, kalaban? 100 eh. O Dami. against what? Ilan, ilan ang propeta ng, sa Diyos? Kakaunti lang sa propeta ng Panginoon. Uh, eh. Actually, the, the thing there is that when they tested who actually belongs to God, you know, whose offering will be accepted by God, Baal's prophets was waiting for their offering to get burned, but it did, yeah. the fire kid did not come down. And then what did Elijah do? He even poured water. Yeah. Para <laughs> you know <patukayan>. Ito. <laughs> pa. I will put water on it, you know, because it will be burned. It will not burn if you know if it's not coming from God. And it burned. So yeah. it's not how many. It's what's the message. That is always the topic that we must. That is always the policy that we must adopt. What is the message being said in that scripture? Is this preacher actually saying the same message? Or he's preaching his own narrative? Ano po? Correct. Correct. I agree with that. Yeah. Ako isang yeah. alin dyan. At yan ang dapat talaga. Eh, hindi katulad dati sa atin kasi nagtuturo tayo. Hindi natin na ituturo yung ating pananampalataya talaga eh. Okay. Sa pagkat uh, kung sino yung gumawa ng leksyon, gusto niya yun ang ituro natin. Yeah. Naratibo ng ibang tao. Uy, tayo nakabilanggo, kapatid na Jeriel eh. Nakabilanggo. Yes. Masama, yeah. masama na tayo nakabilanggo ang isip natin at tayo Kaya nakabahay sa isip. Yeah. Napakahalaga po na ang pag-aaral hindi lamang nanggagaling doon sa mga ministro. Ano po? Uh, we need, we, we want everybody who is listening to us, come on, when we preach something that's not final, you can still check it out. Like the Bereans, the Apostle Paul and Silas, they preached to the Bereans and then the Bereans read the scriptures every day to make sure that what the Apostle Paul and Silas was talking about is actually what God said. Correct. Yeah. And then said, sa ating pinanggalingan, di naman natin kilala Bereans. Eh. Kilala lang natin eh, yung Macedonians. Eh, alam nyo na kung ano ibig sabihin nun. So, the thing here is that the last verse that we're going to be reading ano po, is in Acts 11.26. Let me read that po. Okay. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. 
So it was that for a whole year, they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called <clears throat> Christians in Antioch. <clears throat> Ayun po. <clears throat> Excuse me. So according to this verse, the term or the word Christian was used first in Antioch during the time of the disciples of the Christ or the apostles. But <clears throat> what is Christian? Christian derived from Christos, the Christ, the follower of the Christ. So basically, even the prophets and the Old Testament Israelites, <clears throat> They were also Christians. <laughs> we can conclude that because they believe in the Messiah. Messiah. They're Christians mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I hope oh, that uh, our lesson tonight, our topic tonight, gave uh, enlightenment to the listeners and to those who are listening to us. And it enlightens me too, po, Karning. It enlightens me as we research, as we, yo, po, as we, uh, read the scriptures the more we are being enlightened and the more we can see the present truth that what we need in our time to be included amongst those who will meet the lord in the air ayan yan ang ating kaligtasan po kay Erning yan ang ating inaasahan so sana po. ang ating mga taga-subaybay ano ho ay pwede silang magmungkahi ka Jeriel kung anong topic o ang uh, tema na ating pag-uusapan sa mga sumusun pa natin kung luloobin ng Diyos na mga Bible study. Dahil okay. sa ang sabi nga ng iba ay maganda ho yung inyong ginagawa sapagkat nagtatanungan na naman kayo nagbabasa kayo ng Biblia wala kayong uh, ini-input na galing sa inyong opinion wala kayong ibang layunin kundi kung ano yung nasa katotohan ng nasa Biblia yun ang ating okay. initial sa kanila. Sana ho, magpatuloy sila, no? Kajeriel, sa pag-inig. Opo. Opo. At yun nga, inibitan natin sila sa ating mga pagsamba. Ano po, meron tayo, meron po mga pagsamba kami na nasa Zoom. Ito rin channel na ito ang gagamitin every Saturday and Sunday. We have worship services po. Uh, mga oras, you can actually uh, go to our website, yung churchsobiahusha.org and then you can also go to our Foundation, you know, if you want to help other people, yeah, you can also yeah. do that. Uh, that will be ofir, uh, ofirfad.com. So, ayun po ang ating paksa ngayon, ka-earning. Meron mm -hmm. pa po ba tayong sasabihin sa kanila ngayong gabi? Wala na siguro at hanggang dyan na lang muna siguro at uh, mamalagi po tayo sa ilalim ng patnubay. Uh, may mga shout out po, shout out lang ako, no? Shout out lang. O yung mga taga Phoenix, kung nakikinig po kayo, Phoenix Arizona, marami po tayong mga kapatid na lalayan, mga Yahushan. At uh, thank you dun sa message na pinadala ng ating kapatid sa Phoenix na meron sila pong nakilala ka earning na uh. isang Yahushan pa na nihakap sila nung malaman na alam nila yung pangalan Malala. ng Diyos na si Yahuwa <laughs> At <laughs> ang pangalan ng Kristo na si Yahusha. Ano po? Hindi, uh, parang, pa, para, parang karanasan ko rin ka, Jeriel, uh, nakaraang buwan lang, ay nagpa-imprenta ako sa harap uh, ng sweater, taglamig pa nung nakaraang buwan. Ano? Uh -huh. ay, sa harap ay Yahuwa, sa likod ay Yahusha. E tumitingin uh -huh. ako doon sa banda ng mga vitamin section. Ano? May isang babaeng it na may medyo dark yung kanyang skin ay nakatingin sa akin. At ako, bakit kaya? Abay lumapit at ang sabi, oh, it's nice. Oh, you are my brother because you know the name of God. Kinilabutan ako, kapatid. Diyos ko. Kinilabutan ako. Sisi uh -huh. niya, sabi niya, some people just say and claim that they know God. They, they thought that the name of God is Father. But no, the real name of God is that is what is one that is what is imprinted in your in your uh, sweater, Yahua, and the name of His Son is Yahusha. Abay nakatingin yung ibang mga nakapila para magbayad. Nako sabi ko, just ko hindi kila buto na ako rito kapo sa nangyayari. Oh, yeah, kaya siya masyado din po ako doon sa taga Kenya naman, uh, the the one from Kenya Tama. who who actually uh, type a message during the worship service. Ah. 
we will welcome you and hopefully someday we're gonna meet you. Uh, his name is John, okay, he's John. I forgot the last name, but his name is John. And hopefully John or brother John, uh, because he believes in the name Yahusha, then uh, okay. we will meet you someday. Ayun po, and, shout out din sa mga taga South Carolina, uh-huh. Florida, lahat na po. Ah, shout California, po. sa Jose, sa, sa, sa Pilipinas, sila ka Elisa, sila ka Joel, sila ka Annabelle, oh. ang mga kapatid natin nandoon sa Pilipinas, sa Quezon Province po, at sa Mahinila. Kamusta po kayo lahat dyan? Kamusta po kayo lahat. Oh, sige po, tayo <laughs> po naman ay magwawakas sa isang oh. panalangin pong muli. Ama naming Diyos, Yahuwah. Okay. Salamat po ng marami sa iyo sapagkat patuloy mong ginagabayan ang iyong mga alipin at ang mga taong nilalang mo sa mundo sa pamamagitan ng iyong mga katotohanan. Ama, ang mga nakinig, tulungan mo po sana ipatuloy na magsiyasat, magbasa ng katotohanan at ang aming pong pakiusap lahat ng mga taong nagbibigay ng panahon para po alalahanin ang iyong mga kalooban at tuklasin ang iyong mga salita. Ipasu, ip, ipadala mo po sa kanila, isugo sa kanila ang espiritu ng katotohanan upang maunawa ang lubos ang mga mensahe mo sa lahat ng nilala. Sumasampalataya po kami sa aming paghihwahiwalay kasama ka namin Bas-bas mo po at patnubay ay patuloy na ipagkakaloob sa pangalan po ng aming tagapagligtas, si Yahushua Hamashiach. Amen. Okay po. Good night, Kerning. Good night.